Unit 3. 3. Working Your Way. Read. B. People at Work by Judy Arnett. Career Highs. For the past month, Judy Arnett has been traveling around the country interviewing people who have dangerous jobs. This week, we join her at a height of 1,300 feet above the ground. So, hold on to your hard hats. You probably think you have a tough job, and maybe you do. But there are some very difficult jobs out there that require a lot of training and are extremely dangerous. They actually make a day at the office look like a piece of cake. One of those jobs is that of a rigger. Just take a look around you. Do you see all those tall buildings? Well, Riggers played an important part in their construction. Pete McDonald is one of them. Tell me, Pete, what exactly does a rigger do? Well, we install and operate various types of equipment that are used to lift and carry building materials. We use cranes, ropes, cables, chains, and other rigging gear. Along with installing and operating this equipment, we also have to decide what type of equipment to use. And make sure it is safe. How long have you been a rigger, Pete? Let me see. I've been working as a rigger for about 20 years now. Why a rigger? It runs in the family. My father was a rigger, and his father was a rigger. It seemed only natural to follow in their footsteps. I did a training course and started off as a helper. I was good at my job and eager to learn. So I took on more and more responsibilities. Now I'm a supervisor and I have a team of eight people working with me. Obviously, a rigger needs to be careful. But what are the most important skills that you need to do this job? Well, you must be physically fit and enjoy working outdoors. You have to work in bad weather and under dangerous working conditions. So if you have a fear of heights, this is not the job for you. It's also necessary to have good communication skills when dealing with fellow workers, as it is absolutely essential that they understand your instructions. And that's all there is to it.